Welcome back to the Noble Complex as Oklahoma Baptist University stops Northwestern's seven game win streak tonight. Oklahoma Baptist 68-52 in the women's game have star of the game, Khalifa Ford, another double-double, your 11th Khalifa. How about Coach Overton? He said in the beginning of the game, you guys are gonna mix up man-to-man -man defense and zone defense, and I think that kind of messed up Northwestern's offense. Um, yes, it did. Uh, they're so used to running off of Bailey and Scout, and so being able to switch it up and keep them from making threes and you know getting them off at least um, kept them from you know doing that. You know we would have to spread out if they started making it. So being able to play tight. Uh, can't hear me. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> uh, but being able to like get to the shooters and also stay on Scout and Bailey allowed us to shut them down offensively. Um, and then also being able to score on the other end as well, capitalizing off of that. You're 8 of 17, 0 of 2 from downtown, but I think one of those three-pointers, you were open, mm. you didn't have your feet set right. <laughs> it was close, it was still down, but just sometimes that little part makes a difference. 23 points, 10 rebounds, I think a clutch 7 of 8 from the free throw line. All that stuff makes a difference when Northwestern is fighting back against you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Um, being able to capitalize, you got to be smart, be strong. After a while, they started playing chippy, and at that point, it's just about who's the strongest at that point because, you know, like in a game like that where Thomas went to win the wing, they don't have time to come back. So the only thing they have is, you know, having to try to play harder and, you know, just trying to make sure that your body's safe and um, scoring and being able to knock down free throws like that is, um, you know, very helpful to keeping the score up. Great point of what you said. When well, they're going to be chippy, they're going to be hitting you oh, yeah. and just hoping that the finish was going to go, oh, yeah. which I thought it was a fair game yeah. uh, both ways. But that's what's so great about you. I think Andre Petrida tonight, Peyton Taylor, all strong with the basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, Petrida, Andrea Petrida, I guess she's got a broken nose. She was three or four from the field, six points. She had eight rebounds, five offensive rebounds. Really gave you guys a big lift in the opening half. Oh, yes, we needed those offensive rebounds because all of their players, they're known to go crash the boards, every one of them. So having us go in and get offensive rebounds uh, really helped, and also shutting them down on getting offensive rebounds was also another uh, uh, thing we touched on is making sure that we crash the boards on defense because they do it. And so us being able to uh, shut them down on the offensive end and then being able to reciprocate that and go get it on the offensive end for us. <laughs> Sorry. Khalifa Ford's laughing because the voice of the Bison, Todd Miller, is taking her picture. Of course, Todd and I are both great fans of Gotta stay ready. almost everybody's a big fan of Khalifa Ford. But, hey, Khalifa, the closing play, I love that defense. Uh -huh. You kind of laid back, baited that long pass, picked it off with the left hand went all the way this is a court normally you might want to just take the uncontested layup you kind of waited for the contact got yes. beyond one that kind of closed the door on the rangers oh yes i i was literally on the way down i was like do i go off one foot or do i go off two i was like oh i don't want to get hurt so i was like let me just go off two and i knew she was coming but i didn't think she was actually going to foul me and so it really helped to go off two because i was balanced going up so well great game khalifa khalifa for 23 points double double 10 rebounds. Oklahoma Baptist defeats Northwestern 68-52. This is Bison Basketball on KGFF Classic Hits. Thank you.
Bryson Hill and Shawnee. OBU wins game one of this conference doubleheader with Northwestern Oklahoma State. Bison will look to sweep the Rangers and extend their current streak of dominance over Northwestern Oklahoma State in men's basketball. Again, OBU will be without head coach Jason Aker. He is away with, uh, obviously, concerns involving his father, Allen, out in uh, Arizona. So acting head coach again for the second straight game will be Josh Davis. And, you know, Scott, I'm not going to make excuses. It probably will sound like I'm making excuses, and that's fine. But I thought OBU was a little flat emotionally. I think part of that had to do with Coach Aker having to be away for the reasons he's away. I also think that they just played a team that finally had all their parts together. They played desperate, and so that Azarine just flat out outplayed the Bison. Well, yeah, you're, you're correct on almost all accounts. Um, when, when you have a rhythm, and, and that's a routine daily, it, it's different. So it's kind of a different mindset. I think athletics has so much to do with rhythmatics. And Oklahoma Baptist might have been out of, out of rhythmatics. But at the same time, Southern Nazarene hit 13 three-pointers. Oklahoma Baptist four. That's 27 points. OBU lost 90 to 70 by 20 points. So you're not going to make up all 27. They made up seven of those, and you just come up on the short end. You know, I wasn't surprised that OBU lost at the Sawyer Center. It's a too difficult place to play, and they haven't had a lot of success in past years there. I was surprised when we left the air and found out that Northwestern had lost by 10, 83-73 to Southwestern. And talking to some of the Ranger people, though, they were saying, you know, it was one of those nights that Terry Evans did exactly what he had to do. He controlled tempo, and they hit some shots that you will live and die with them taking. I mean, if you're watching on, on the video, the end right now, that's where some of the shots were from. I mean, they just made shots to win the ball game, and it was a tough loss for Northwestern and a missed opportunity for the Rangers at home. Yeah, especially at home, because you want to keep your home court. But then again, you talk about rivalry week, Northwestern, Southwestern rivals. Those games get even tighter, even, even if there's a difference in record. And uh, it's hard to play in Alva. But every night you have to come and play, especially on the men's side. The game is so fast and so strong, and everybody can light it up from anywhere on the floor. You just got to close out and play defense everywhere. Northwestern averages just under 78 a game, give up just under 69. They're outscoring their opponents by nine. OBU outscoring theirs by two and a half. 73.8 to 71 per ball game. Bison and the Rangers are two of the top teams of the conference in shot blocking. Thanks to Nigel Wilcox, thanks to DJ Freeman, but thanks in part to Bubba Furlong. He has 37 block shots, does Furlong in 14 games covering 13 starts. Furlong, one of the most versatile players of the conference. He can shoot from the perimeter. He can cause problems down low. Bob, in his final year of eligibility at Northwestern, averages just a tick under 12 and 7.8 rebounds per ball game. He is one of four Northwestern players that average 10 or more. Rangers shoot almost 50%. That's a little bit skewed because they did play some really light competition outside the league. They shot 43% against Southwestern and shot 45.5% against Oklahoma Baptist in the first game. OBU looked like they were going to bury the Rangers at Percival Fieldhouse. They led by 23, playing without Brantley and Harrison. And then all of a sudden, it became a seed squirrel. In fact, a nail biter, nearly a nightmare because the Rangers, in a one possession game, had the ball with a three point opportunity to beat OBU, and a travel was called. OBU managed to get out of town with the victory by a count of 64 to 60. And at the time, especially playing shorthanded, you felt really good about that win. But I'm still telling this Ranger team is among, I think, the very best in this league. Well, Jason Aker has done that quite a few times. If Oklahoma Baptists get to those big, big leads at halftime, and maybe the intensity goes off a little bit, but still had enough to win. So Vinny Patel is going to be anticipating that tonight because Oklahoma Baptist coming off that loss at Southern Nazarene is going to start fast and the Rangers are going to have to keep up because it's going to be hard to overtake the Bison in the latter half inside the Noble Complex. I expect a bounce back effort today from OBU, but it will be tough against the Rangers. 9-5, 4-4 and four and four the conference. OBU two games clear of Northwestern of the standings, 6-2 and two and 9-5 and five overall. Stay tuned to starting lineups and the opening tip-off is coming up next from Shawnee. This is Oklahoma Baptist basketball on Classic Hits, KGFF.
we pray that you keep the players from harm and they perform because they're the best there is. In your name we pray. Amen. You can just come back and I'll bring the anthem in. With that, we welcome you back here to the campus of Oklahoma Baptist University in Shawnee, where Northwestern and OBU about to tip off. What a remarkable job Vinay Patel has done this year at Northwestern. The Rangers are 9-5, and 4-4 in and four the conference, and he basically sent everybody packing after last year. Brought in nine, 11 new players, only three returned, and he has really done a good job, Scott, of molding this team together, and they really, I think, are one of the more talented teams in this conference. How do you do that? That is unbelievable. I am so impressed with Benet Patel doing that, having the fortitude saying, look, if some of these guys aren't going to respect me on the team, they're done. Go to Brad Franz, the athletic director, say, look, we're going to just keep three guys. I'm going to rebuild this roster. What an amazing job and the confidence. Hats off to Benet Patel. Larry White will start a 6'5 redshirt sophomore from Topeka, averaging 14 and 6 rebounds a game. Malik Parsons is a 6'3 junior from San Diego, a transfer from Chaminade, where he averaged 10.6 points per game and 2.8 rebounds. Ryan Free was a double figures with 17 and 7 rebounds in the first meeting. A 5'8 graduate student from Greensboro, North Carolina. Bubba Furlong, one of the most versatile players in the conference, a league leading 37 blocks. A 6'9 senior from Waco, Texas, and Ravel Moody, a 6'7 senior from Denver, completes the starting lineup. Ravel Moody is a transfer from East Tennessee. Today, 22 and 35 at Northwestern. Prior to that, he was the four-year head coach at OCU, 82 and 42. A regular season, the postseason title, and a trip to the NAI Sweet 16 for Vinay Patel at OCU. Jason Aker with the record 63 and 34. Not here. Acting head coach Josh Davis. He'll start Jaquan Sims, a 6'3 senior from Covington, Georgia. Nigel Wilcox, a 6'6 junior from Alpharetta, Georgia. Burt Putman, a 6'3 senior from Valdosta State in Tulsa. And Brantley Thompson, a 6'3 senior from Tuttle. The fifth starter, Harrison Stoddard, a 6'7 senior from Edmond, where he was a state champion at North High School. Rangers are out on the floor first. Road black and red, trimmed in white. OBU of the home white and green, trimmed in gold. Rangers with some really, really attractive road uniforms. First of a three-game roadie for Northwestern. Next week at Searcy and in Russellville. OBU the only home stopover on a stretch of five eight games to begin on Tuesday night in Arkadelphia. They'll visit Southern Arkansas next Thursday night in Arkansas Monticello a week from today. Nigel Wilcox, Bubba Furlong to jump center. Rangers will move from right to left, the vice and left to right. They'll be looking for a sweep of Northwestern in what would be their program's seventh straight over the visitors from Alpha. Here we go, Furlong and Wilcox. They'll toss it up at midcourt, and we are ready for basketball inside the Noble Complex here on this Saturday afternoon. And the vice have won the opening tip. Over you, the preseason conference favorite. League, currently tied with Southeastern at 6-2 atop the league standings. Sims with it, left baseline for uh, Thompson. He spins in, had it knocked away by Moody, gets it back. Now to start it, top of the circle for Sims, 12 to shoot. Jaquan against the very good man-to-man -man defense. Reverses to Putnam, between the leg, dribble, spins. Pump fakes, goes up, fall away jumper with three to shoot, no good. Nigel tips the rebound and it's run down by Harrison Stoddard. 
Bounces it to Thompson, to the goal. Funnels it to Wilcox for the two-headed slam. You know, Brant boys. Brantley Thompson's very good. He could have scored on that, uh, on those long two steps. But he saw out of the peripheral vision, Wilcox cutting to the bucket. Two nothing OBU. Back to uh, baseline right with it as Furlong. And Stoddard blocked the shot. Wilcox for the rebound. And Bubba undercut him. And Furlong will pick up his first foul. And the first team foul against Northwestern Oklahoma State with 19.08 to play here in the first half. Bubba Furlong, six foot nine. Harrison Stoddard easily blocked that shot. OBU has won eight of the last 13 from Northwestern. They currently have won six straight, including 64-60 on December the 2nd of last year, this year, should I say, in Alva. 2-0, putting them into the front court. Northwestern, the man-to-man -man defense. Malik Parsons guards the ball, and they bounce it right corner for Brantley Thompson. The Sims, his first three of the good. Good start for Quan, who only had Three points and a rebound at the Sawyer Center on two, Thursday night. It's 5 0 OBU. I've seen Jaquan Sims start hot with his first three pointer here in the Noble Complex. Sometimes get over five three pointers in a game. Three around the screen is cut off right front court, reverses left side for Ravel Moody, the blocking foul. That's against Sims. That's Quan's first, and likewise the first against the Bison at the 1836 mark here in the first half. And it's a 5 0 OBU start, much like their female counterparts who led 7 0 less than two minutes into the ball game against Northwestern en route to a victory. That's all right on that foul. Good aggressive defense by the Bison, making Northwestern work to get the ball inside. Ravel Moody runs down the entry pass in the backcourt. But Burt Putnam stays with him. Moody now, or excuse me, free, bounces it, and it's a kick ball. And OBU has come out with a lot more energy, a lot more rhythm as we would have expected after that disappointment on Thursday. Yeah, the last time Oklahoma Baptist lost a game, the Bison strung together four straight victories. You pointed that out on Thursday night before we left Bethany. Here they force a turnover. Larry White has to run it down. Gets it now to Brian Free, who drives layup good, and a blocking foul against Sims, and that's going to be his second. And an and one upcoming for Brian Free, who averages 10.9 points per ball game, had 11 and four rebounds Thursday night in the loss to Southwestern. He had 17 and seven rebounds back in December against this Bison team. Jaquan didn't like that call. Sometimes. Uh, a dribbler goes between the defense, dribble between the defense, and a lot of times you have a no call on that contact. We'll have a free throw upcoming from the Rangers. And Nigel is out of the game briefly. Looks like he has a cut, so they're attending to that with the training staff at the end of the Ranger bench. Trey Green has come in replacing Sims. And now Nigel will have to come out. They gave him a little bit of time to get the bleeding stop. Now it's DJ Freeman that comes in. I think I said that it was Brian Free. It was actually Malik Parsons with the basket, so he'll have an and one. And he caps it with the free throw. So it's a 5-3 to three Bison advantage, 18-18 to play here in the first half. Burke Putnam into the front court left side. Stoddart trying to set a screen. Burke now clears, goes right, spins right. Looks for Stoddart down low, gets it to Harry on the right block. He backs down at an offensive foul. Pretty good job of acting, though, by Malik Parsons. Yeah, Parsons took a flop, but I'm telling you, that was a hard hit. Harrison Stoddard is a big man at 6'7". The right side hit Parsons hard up in the chest. First turnover for OBU of the ball game. It comes with 18-02 to play in the first half. Rangers have scored the last three after OBU started a 5-0 run. Bison basketball brought to you by Noble McIntyre of McIntyre Law. Out high with it is Larry White. Drives, pump fakes, gets Stoddard in the air, ducks under and lays it in. Larry White is a really good player. Five straight for the Rangers, and we have our first tie of the afternoon. And White had to pump fake because coming over to help was the leaper, D.J. Freeman. Burt Putnam, right front court for Brantley Thompson. Thompson looking for Stoddart. Now they go to Freeman out high angles left, hands it to Brantley. Thompson around a rub from Stoddart, moves right. Now gets it to Green of the wing. Trey spinning, now gets it right corner. Three of the way by Brantley Thompson, a little strong. Freeman with the rebound to Stoddart. Fumbles, gathers, missed the bump. Tip the rebound, and Parsons has it for Northwestern. Rangers a chance at their first lead of the contest. Parsons of a high-to-back dribble, cut off foul line right. Bounces it out high for Larry White. Now they'll slow it down to Ravel Moody. 17.05 to play here in the first half. We're tied at five. Free gets a screen, fires a three, in and out and back down from three paces behind the top of the circle. Malik Parsons, or excuse me, free with his first basket, and it's 8-5 Rangers on that 8-0 run. 
It was Brian Free at Northwestern that hit some big, long shots to bring the Rangers on that big comeback. Green feeds it to Freeman, who squares up, misses a baseline left jumper, rebound to Moody, lost, picked up by Green. Now Linda Thompson, pump fakes, and missed a bump. OBU has missed two bumps from point-blank range the last two trips down the floor. And that's rare for Thompson and Stoddard to do that. Moody drives, and Stoddard has called for the foul, and now he's in early foul trouble with his second. That's already four amongst two different Bison players here with less than four minutes gone here in the first half, and here comes Nigel back into the ball game. So Harry will go to the bench with those two quick fouls. Yeah, Ravel Moody had the step on Harrison Stoddard. Stoddard kind of bumped him a little bit trying to catch up. Ravel Moody will inbound the basketball. Trey Green fronts it. They lob it to the backcourt, and Brian Free pulls it down. Benet Patel's team on the road has scored eight straight since a 5-0 Ranger or a Bison start to the ball game. Free clears right in the bumping foul. That's going to go against Nigel Wilcox. That's his first. And you know, Scott, I don't know how you defend these guys if you can't have any contact whatsoever. Well, and I, and I don't like the way the game is starting. It kind of reminds me of Southern Nazarene where the Bison started slow. Even though they're up 5 nothing. that 8-0 run by the Rangers is devastating. Thompson is in for Brantley Thompson. The inbounds pass stolen away by Burke Putman. He'll accelerate left, goes behind the back, going down the paint, pivots left to right, follow a jumper, spins out. Rebound to Larry White. Outlets to Parsons. He accelerates around Green, goes to the rim, block shot, Wilcox, tip shot by Furlong, good. 10-5 Northwestern. Outstanding trailer by Bubba Furlong, the biggest man on the court, outruns everybody for the tip in. Between the circles, Jordan Thompson, he's been playing really well off of the bench. Bounces it to Nigel Wilcox, hands it to Jordan, fires a 15-footer, it's short. For the right wing, oh, but you can't buy a basket. Moody up ahead, left side for Larry White against Green, loses the handle, and Freeman picks it up. Unforced mistake, and then he throws and hits Wilcox, who was running down the floor of the back, and OBU gives it right back. Well, OBU's just got to get in a little bit more control, and if Jordan Thompson follows his shot on that last play, OBU has an offensive rebound. Bison with two turnovers here early, out high free, left of the screen. In the corner, White for three, airballed it. Rebound to Furlong, and he had to take it away. Good job by Nigel Wilcox to force the turnover. OBU has it. Burke Putnam turns the corner right, throws up a floater, side rims it. Rebound tipped in Putnam, or excuse me, Furlong has it. OBU off to a two-for-nine shooting start. Five minutes and ten seconds into this one. They trail thanks to ten straight by the Rangers, 10-5. As outstanding as Burke Putnam is, I think he's still, he's kind of battling his sickness. When he was at Washita, he had a great game, and he was really tired. Driving baseline right, Ravel Moody, and he's fouled. So he will go to the line for two more to extend the run. This has not been the start after a 5-0 beginning that OBU was hoping. First foul against Trey Green, already six against the Bison. Will step aside, 14-43 to play before halftime. 10-5 Northwestern Oklahoma State on KGFF. Our Whataburger stickers. Proof that everything you dream up for your 100% fresh beef Whataburger is right under the bun. So go wild, burger lover. Avocado, jalapenos, and no onions. Wait, avocado grilled jalapenos. Oh, and bacon and creamy pepper sauce. However you dream it, we'll make it. Whataburger, just like you like it. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for above and beyond. An extra level of care. A game. From caring for our guests in our community to cleanliness and safe service with a my pleasure. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. A little funky dance. And that too. OBU scoreless for the last 4-11. They've hit just one of their last nine field goals after starting the game one for two. Ravel Moody will be at the line to extend what is now a 10-point Northwestern run with 14.43 to play in the first half, and Moody rattles the first free throw home. Moody had eight points, an assist, and a steal on Thursday night. Played 19 minutes of team high off the bench in the first minute with OBU, tallied two rebounds and four points. Moody averages seven and two and a half points a game, and he has his second as he cleanly hits the free throw. Rangers, not a good foul shooting team at 65%. They're two, or make that three of three to start. Anthony Jones, a 6'5 graduate student from Indianapolis, transferred from Western Illinois into the ball game. 
Thompson as Northwestern tries the half court trap. Gets it to Sims, to Freeman, who cross courts it right to left. Jordan Thompson, quarter left for Nigel Wilcox. Back to Brantley Thompson, 13 of the shot clock. OBU still has not scored almost five minutes after taking a 5 nothing lead. They trail 12-5. Wing left, Brantley Thompson. He'll fire a three, doesn't go. Rebound tipped by Nigel, back to Brantley left wing. To Jordan Thompson against the 2-3 zone. Boy, they are playing really tight defense. Thompson cut off with 15 of the shot clock. Jordan on the Bison center circle logo. Working against free and down low an offensive foul against Nigel Wilcox. That's the second on Nigel. So three Bison have two fouls and already team foul seven against OBU with less than six minutes gone in the first half. And Oklahoma Baptist has started the game shooting two of 12 from the floor. It was hard to last in this league with that. Harrison Stoddart will come in, so one foul-prone Bison earlier replaces another. Wilcox with two, replaced by Stoddart with two. Under 14 now to play in the first half. 12-5. Rangers have pitched a shutout for over five minutes, scoring the last 12 of the ball game. Down the paint goes Larry White. Good hands, forces a turnover. Sims up ahead to Freeman to the goal. He lays it up at a foul. And that's against Brian Free. That's his first. And just the second against Northwestern Oklahoma State. So DJ Freeman, they're going to call to the floor. I started to say we'll have foul shots. The Bison will inbound underneath their own back. I, I do think that was the act of shooting because Freeman had those long strides, was going up toward the rim. Thompson, right quarter, jump passes to Jordan Thompson. 21 on the shot clock. Jordan tries to probe his in, way in right circle. Rangers still in that zone defense. They almost look like they're trying to come out of it and go to a straight-up man. Jordan left unguarded, fires a three, and he got it. Well, it's a huge bucket for the freshman Jordan Thompson. OBU is now two for their last 11. It needs a scoring drought of over five minutes. Also pulls the range of the Bison within four. Out high is Anthony Jones. Goes left, now back right to the elbow of the stripe. Bounces it for Furlong. Down low against Stoddart. Drop step. Goes up. Missed it. Harrison battling for the rebound. White ended up on the floor. And Brantley Thompson has it. Up ahead to Jordan Thompson right wing. JT with the basketball in front of Bade Patel now veers back middle of the floor, angles left. Side steps to the foul line, now to Freeman, right side to Sims. 17 to shoot, Brantley measures a three left side, no good. He continues to be ice cold as White slides down for the miss. Looks like Brantley's kind of rushing a little bit. I like when he squared up, he was squared up there, but it seemed like he pulled it from his hip really quickly. 12, 36 to play first half, uh, Thompson nearly forced to turn over, Brian Free gets it back. Now they double the basketball and go left wing side with 10 to shoot. Driving as Parsons goes right to the goal, missed it, it was challenged by Freeman. Hit off the hill of the rim and Jaquan Sims has it. Up ahead to Brantley Thompson, left quarter. One dribble, cross courts it for Stoddart for three. Bang! Harrison knocks the eyes out of a three. OBU has scored six straight now to pull the within one. That looked just like at Washington Baptist, Harrison Stoddart shooting at the pinnacle of his jump. Perfect arc and follow through. Brian Free, dribble stationary out front. OBU in a zone defense. Left side, Malik Parsons. Top of the circle, Jones. Try to touch it down low. It's tipped and out of bounds. As Brantley Thompson and Harrison Stoddart gave chase, but to no avail. Time out of the floor. The under 12 media timeout comes with 11.55 to play before the break. It's been a game of runs, and OBU's on one now of six straight. 12-11 Northwest with the score on KGFF. How can you describe Whataburger's Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich? The chicken just has a certain... And then there's the sauce that just gives you a little bit of... And the cheese is the exact right amount of... It's almost too hard to put it into... Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. The Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich at Whataburger. Just like you like it. inspire and empower you along the way. Spend life wisely. First United Bank. 
from East Tennessee State comes into the ball game for Coach Patel's ball club out of the break. We told you it's a game of runs. OBU scored the first five. Rangers scored the next 12 over 508. And now over the last 255, OBU's on a 6-0 run. And within one, Brian Free around to Michael Belfield. Attacks right, pivots. Out pops Anthony Jones for three at the shot clock buzzer. It's off. Rebound out of bounds. Hansett crashed but couldn't control. Yeah, Northwestern squandered an opportunity. Oklahoma Baptist started this game 2 of 13, and, and they just sat on that 10 to 5 lead. Northwestern could have been up double digits. Nice and basketball brought to you by the Theopolis Social Club, by the First National Bank and Trust Company, and SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital. Down low with it is Belfield. He spins in, is doubled, and they're going to call a tie up. And that possession arrow will belong to Northwestern. What did you see, Scott? Yeah, I think so. I think Belfield was an out-of-control dribbler. Into the defense is either no call or a Bison will turn it over for the third time. Make that the fourth time. Each team with four turnovers. Points off turnovers 3-2 in favor of OBU. Brian Free handling the point guard duties. Angles right. Now Belfield hedges and doubles the ball with Putnam. They reverse right side for Jones. He drives in. Shoots over Freeman. He missed a good job by PJ. Green the rebound of the reach and foul. That's against Jones. And that's the first on Jones and team foul number three on Northwestern Oklahoma State. Yeah, great officiating. As you said, great defense by DJ Freeman. Both hands straight up taking the contact. He's not initiating it. Another no call. Great defense. Southwestern and Southeastern canceled or postponed today. Rescheduled for February 7th in Durant, both men's and women's games. Burke Putnam with it across midcourt. Left of the DeMichael Belfield screen. Lost it. Got it back. Almost was decapitated. It was taken away. White has it to the goal. Layup good. Yeah, it looked like Burke Putnam got hit really hard just inside the free line. That ends a 6-0 Western uh, U run over 353. 14 to 11. It may be first to 60 of this ball game today. Putnam with it, top of the circle to Freeman, right side in front of Vinay Patel is Thompson. Brantley to Green, pivots out high, lobs it to Thompson. Brantley drives, bounces it for Belfield, it's off it in. Great. Look at the big dish today by Brantley Thompson. Brantley Thompson does that so many. Left baseline, right baseline, dribbles up the right side. Belfield does a great job clearing out the defense, making it easy for the layup. Two point blank layups for OBU off to a three total for Thompson early. The midway point of the first. Half and the Belfield just grabs Ravel Moody for some reason in between the circles out front. That's Belfield's first. It also means free throws for Northwestern as that's the eighth foul. Yeah, Belfield thought that he fouled on purpose with that left-handed playing no whistle when he reached around to the, the waist with the left hand. Then he comes around with the right hand, like you said, just kind of hugged him. Nigel Wilcox will replace Belfield in the lineup. Ravel Moody hit a pair earlier from the line of the first half, goes there for two. And the first foul shot is up, and it is no good, so he won't get the bonus. Moody looked every bit the part of a 56.5% foul shooter on that shot. 14-13 Northwestern, under 10 minutes to play in the first half. Green tried to force it down low. It's broken up and knocked out of bounds by Furlong with 17 of the Bison shot clock. I tell you, Bubba Furlong is just not your typical sixth player. He's got great anticipatory skills where he was in the middle of the left side of the lane and darted down to the baseline to intercept that pass. He's a really versatile player. I said in the pregame show, maybe one of the more so of the conference. Left wing side is Burke Putnam. He spins, gets a down from Freeman. Ten seconds to shoot for OBU. Burke closely guarded by Larry White. Moving right, going left. Five to shoot. He works around Furlong. Bounces it for Thompson. Corner three. Spins out with one to shoot. Furlong lost the handle. Green picks it up to Brantley. Thompson. Now he was the three, but it's home. Oh, another hustle bucket for OBU. What a nice touch pass by Brantley Thompson. Kind of a scoop alley -oop for the dunk. 15-14 OBU back of the high side after trailing 12-5. It's all started on the defensive end. Right wing Brian Free floats into the paint, leaves it left side. Hansick for the answer, back rims it. Down for the rebound is Brantley Thompson. Under nine minutes to play here in the first half, 15 to 14 OBU. Did you see Thompson? He was up the right side of the lane. He worked his down there outside the right block for that perfect rebounding position. Right and left of the screen from Freeman. Quarter left three by Brantley Thompson is no good. Rebound tipped out by DJ Freeman. Another offensive rebound. That's the sixth for OBU. Freeman left quarter three, no good. And down for the rebound for the Rangers, Brian Free. OBU 6 of 18, shooting Northwestern now 5 of 13. Defense has been the order of the day today. 
Larry White left wing to the foul line. Now spins down the paint. Good help defense by D.J. Freeman. They cross court at right side. Hansick on the wing. It goes for Rivera. The crossover dribble goes deep. Missed everything. Furlong tips. Out, but the Bison had the gold sealed, and Putnam has it for OBU. Missed everything because the leaper, Wilcox, was there. Burke inside the three-point arc, spins it out. Freeman rebound up. Rangers have it with Larry White. Under eight minutes to play. Half from Shawnee, 15 to 14. Good guys. Moody almost stepped on the mid-court stripe as he was guarded by Brantley Thompson. That's actually free. Left of the screen from Larry White. Brian with it out front to Bubba Furlong. Right side to one dribble swing in front of us is Brian Free. Crosses over, fall away top of the arc. No good, or whistle with a foul. And they've called it against Bubba Furlong. And he cannot believe it. And I want to tell you something, Scott. I thought they were calling the Bison for a foul. And so too did Josh Davis. He got up off the bench very, very quick. Yeah, sometimes you think it's a hold if you get out of position. But I'm telling you, Bubba Furlong is very physical, and he's been getting away with a lot of fouls, especially on the dribblers. He's using an arm bar and his hands uh, holding up Putnam and others, and he's been getting away with it. So 7.48 to play first half. Back after these messages, OBU leads by a point on KGFF. McIntyre Law. We have over 100 years of combined litigation experience fighting for Oklahomans injured by medical malpractice and medical devices. These injuries are caused by medical products including defective hip implants, hernia mesh and breast implants, and IVC filters as well as drugs such as Valsartan, Zoralto, and Celgans. If you have been injured and want to learn more about your rights, call us right now. The consultation is free. We love what we do and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today. OBU's had two big runs, one of five straight, one of six that's now extended to a 10-2 advantage and they trail 12-5. Bison basketball out of immediate timeout. OBU by a point, 15-14. Seven and a half to play first half. Jordan Thompson way up front right forecourt. Between the circles, Harrison Stoddard left to the paint to Michael Belfield. Backing down, goes up, throws it up, and it skips across the 10. And the foul that's going to go against Chance Love. That's going to be his first. I believe I'm right in saying this. Chance Love, I think his dad played at OBU. Chuck Love. I called Chuck's games up at Alvin. Terrific, terrific man. And I'm thinking that Chance might be his son. Boy, DeMichael Belfi, he not a load. He clears out so much space for himself and legally using his backside with his back to the basket, crossing the lane from left to right to get the free throws. Latest run of five, now five straight. DeMichael misses the second, is encompassing the last 323. It's an 11 to 2 Bison run since, well, over the last seven minutes and 20 seconds. They lead by two, 16 14. And a foul on the rebound, that's going to send Anthony Jones to the free throw line. Yeah, that was a bad foul by Harrison Stoddard. He's a lot smarter than that. He came across. Had no chance for that rebound all over the back of the Northwestern player. Love hits the free throw. One more would tie the game. And that is the third foul against Harrison Stoddart with 7.22 to play in the half. So more than likely, we will not see him until after halftime. Foul trouble early. OBU has three players with multiple fouls. And that happened within seven minutes of the first half. Love second, or excuse me, Jones' second foul shot is good. Tied at 16. Defense will... Win today, even when you're not shooting well away from home. And it's been the calling card for Vinay Patel's team here today to stay close, despite being outscored 11 to 4 over the last seven plus minutes. DJ Freeman, right side, cross courts it for Jordan Thompson. Thompson behind the back and a moving straight against Belfield. Another turnover on the second foul for Michael Belfield. How about Burke Putnam and Brantley Thompson combined 0 for 10 from the floor? You don't see that very often. I expect a big run from the Bison when those two heat up. 
Problem is you can't get in rhythm with the quick whistles and the foul trouble. Brantley Thompson comes out of the ball game. Green is back in. So perusing the lineup, Burke Putnam was the only starter out there. And there's a care double dribble violation for Brian Free. And who's right there? Jordan Thompson. Jordan Thompson is so pesky, gets so many defensive touches, he causes some of those turnovers. Rangers average 14 and a half turnovers per ball game. They just turned it over for the fifth time. OBU with already six. Bison is a team average 12 and a half per ball game. Tied at 16, 642 to play first half. Left side is Jordan Thompson. Works his way to the baseline. Now Ang back to the wing. Lobs it down low for Freeman who fumbles it, saves it and bounds and threw it right to Chance Love. Love loops up ahead midcourt to Anthony Jones. Jones went on three, very wisely backs it out and a double dribble called against Anthony. And he's incredulous as he tosses the basketball right to the official. That is exactly a correct call. Great, and it was a quick call by the official because Anthony pulled that ball up, was on his hip. Now he can pick it up, but you can't put it on the floor again. Good call. Brantley Thompson just checks in. He was set to inbound. Trey Green in front of us waves him off. Green will inbound to Burke Putnam. Burke has had an un like game thus far. 0 of 4 shooting came in at 50% after a tremendous offensive game against Southern Nazarene. One of the few Bison to have a decent game on Thursday night. Putnam a dribble rock move. Foul line left to the Ducks. Down to jump. Burke on cue. One for five is first points. Perfect. That fall away jumper, that drop step is deadly by Burke Putnam. I think Patel told his team to play physical with uh, Putnam. Jones pinched off, gets it to Malik Parsons of the Bison logo, middle, uh, middle of the floor. 5.52 to play first half. Parsons spinning right wing is doubled. Now Love gets free, goes up, and he's fouled. Yeah, Belfield jumped into the shooter there. That's the third on DeMichael Belfield, who is playing in just his fifth game since becoming eligible for the Bison. So Chance Love is going to go to the free throw. He's a 5 sophomore from Madison, Illinois, averaging 1.7 points per ball game and 1.3 rebounds. Boy, that's three fouls on Post Harrison Stoddard, three on Belfield. Good thing we've got Justin Ten over there ready to come in. First foul shot is good. Justin nearly even played uh, against Harding and had six points and five rebounds when these two teams played up in Alva. Did not play against Southern Nazarene. Second one by Love. Hits the hill of the rim and bounds away. 18-17, the Oklahoma Baptist advantage with 8.39 to play here in what has been a choppy first half. Burke Putnam left side, Brantley Thompson drives, nearly threw it away. Bounce pass pulled away by Green. Back to Burke, to G DJ. Out of Putnam, left wing to Green. Swings it right. Sims to Trey, good ball boom. Burke with it, left wing, seven to shoot. Takes a dribble, fires an 18-footer, missed it. Sims with a rebound, leads it back out for Putnam, a crossover dribble. Love. Stays down. They'll bounce it for Sims for three, and he got it. That offensive rebound by Jaquan Sims to keep that alive was huge, Todd, because Oklahoma Baptist playing with one of their smaller lineups. Second chance points for 2 OBU despite a 7-1 offensive rebound and advantage over the Rangers. 21-17, OBU by four. Their biggest lead was 5 nothing to start the game. Parson against Green. Pump fakes. Trey bites but gets back down. Parsons leans in at the foul line, puts up a one-hander, it spins. Freeman with a rebound and the outlets to Burke Putnam up the left side. Bison can hold on a four-point lead and take their biggest advantage to the half. Four and a half to play before the mission. Burke against the zone. Trey Green left side Freeman drives, whips it out front, nearly went the backcourt, and Putnam retrieves it. Third to shoot. Thompson a deep three, misses wide right. Trey Green battling and it's off of the Rangers out, or excuse me, Green out of bounds. Didn't that look like that went off Malik Parsons? So what I thought. I think that's what Northwestern thought too because they were really slow to react on the bench. And uh, Trey Green thought it was that way as well. 21-17, 4-14 to play here in the first half. Todd Miller, Scott Waters with you on KGFF. And now Fede Patel wants a 30-second timeout. We've gone mobile on Bison Hill for schedules to news alerts about your favorite Bison programs. The OBU mobile app has you covered. You can find the app on Google Play and the iPhone app store. OBU basketball brought to you by Noble McIntyre, the banking team you can count on, the first national bank and trust company by SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital, Shawnee, where they all serve the health care needs compassionately of Shawnee 
and the surrounding communities. Bison basketball brought to you by ShopOBUBison.com, the official online store benefiting Bison Athletics. Bison with a rather small lineup again. Uh, the biggest post would be D.J. Freeman. Of course, he plays above the rim. That's what happens when you have three baseline guys with a total of seven fouls. Bellfield with three. Wilcox and Stoddart each in foul trouble. They actually have eight because Harrison has three fouls as well. I'm surprised Patel doesn't counter with 6'9 uh, Bubba Furlong to take advantage of that. Eric Kancic will inbound the ball directly in front of us for Northwestern Oklahoma State. He slaps the ball and lobs it to the backcourt. Jalen Smith, a redshirt sophomore from Wichita out there for the first time. Smith accelerates, back, hands it off. Parsons fumbles it, keeps the dribble, gets it back. Driving baseline to Smith, bounces left wing to White. Down the paint he goes, challenges Freeman. He missed the layup, but DJ now has his first. Or they called that on Trey Green. They've called it on Green, and that's going to be his second foul. So Jordan Thompson, who went out of the game a few moments ago, is set to check back in for the Bison. Now Jack Pruitt is going to come as well. Ravel Moody about to check back for the Rangers after this first Larry White free throw. White's foul shot is up, and it spins out. That miss, the Rangers are now six of nine from the strike. Larry White comes in, shooting 27 of 48 from the foul line. One of their better players at 14 plus a game, and he missed both. Rebound to Brantley Thompson. Thompson has had a nice game. He's 0 of 7, shooting five assists, a steal, three rebounds now in 14 minutes. Thompson continuing, though, to struggle with his jump shot. Putnam left side between the rings with it is Trey Green. Bison shooting just 8 of 25, 32%. Jordan Thompson dribbling out front against the zone. Brantley tries to penetrate, looking for Putnam down, or Pruitt down low. Now they get it back to Brantley. Two seconds, one second. They won't get the shot off. It's knocked away. Larry White with a steal to the goal. Layup is good, and it's a two-point game. Larry White, who missed two free throws, gets a live ball turnover to Bucket. 21-19 the score. Jordan Thompson to Brantley Thompson. Now they cross court for Burke Putnam. He penetrates, goes through two defenders, and from behind, Larry White swats it away. And this is a good defensive team from Alva. Malik Parsons leaves it left side. Jones challenges the rim and another block. That was Burke Putnam. What an athletic play. Putnam to the goal and a hard foul. They may get an additional hit. Jalen Smith, a very, very hard foul. And clearly he was preventing Putnam from getting the layoff, uh, the layup off. But boy, that was a real hard foul. And they're going to call it a common foul. And that's Jalen's first. Well, Josh Davis didn't say anything about it or even ask. Putnam's first foul shot is up and good. Burke with his third point. He had 28 rebounds along with a steal. Up and Alba back on December the 2nd, coming off a 19.3 rebound, four assist game in Bethany on Thursday night. League leader at 21-3, a ball game. He misses the second fall as his shot goes back up, and it wouldn't go. The follow tip is good, though. Jack Pruitt, Jack Pruitt jumps over the top, follows Putnam. What a tip in by Pruitt. 24-19, so three points of that trip for the good guys. Right side, Malik Parsons. In Paint pulls up from 11, missed it. Crashing the rebound is Malik Parsons, and he was undercut by Jack Pruitt. He landed on his tailbone, and he is in some really serious pain as he's going to be helped up off the floor by Trey Green and his teammate Anthony. I thought that uh, Jack Pruitt was on the inside. You thought he undercut him because it looked like Parsons was up on top. It was They both collided. 2.41 to play, first half, 24-19, OBU. This is Bison Basketball on KGFF. This is the ShopOBUBison.com, the official online store of OBU Athletics. This is ShopOBUBison.com, we're going to the Shop tab in your OBU mobile app. You were right, from my angle, it looked like he was underneath him. But Said she wasn't hungry. She only wanted a bite. But this isn't just a patty melt. This is a Whataburger patty melt. The all-time favorite with two all-beef patties, Monterey Jack, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce. So one bite became two, and two became mine. Just a bite, huh? 
Mark that one down as a lesson learned. The Whataburger Patty Melt, just like you like it. How about Jack Pruitt? 128 of playing time. An offensive rebound and stick back. He has two rebounds. And he also just took the offensive foul from Malik Parsons. Scott, you were right. From my vantage point, it looked like he was underneath him, but he was actually set. And Parsons went over the top and then kind of flipped and came back down on his tailbone. Yeah, because Pruitt was already there. Now, if Pruitt gets there late and Parsons is airbound, that would be uh, – a foul on Pruitt, but Pruitt beat him to the spot, so he had great position inside on Parsons. Great call. Jack is at the free throw line. They're lining up for free throws. I thought that was an offensive foul, and now two of the officials are getting together, and they may check that. Now, if Northwestern is putting up a shot, that's uh, if they didn't put up a shot, that's would be a foul, and Pruitt would shoot now. But if Northwestern has team control of the basketball, then there's no shooting on team control or player control. That's what they're going to go look at on the monitor, so that's the reason for the delay. 2.41 to play first half, OBU by five. That equals their biggest advantage of the half, 24-19. Thursday night, we greet you from Magnolia, Arkansas, the real riders of the Bison. 5.04, a pregame start on KGFF, OBUBison.com and KGFF.com. Limited 5.30, minutes 7.30. Pruitt will get the friend of the one and one, and he hits it. Tony and Jack Pruitt's development, as far as I'm concerned, came this summer in the Skins League at Oklahoma City. I didn't attend many games, but when I was there, this kid always played well. In fact, had double digits in one of the games I was there. Second free throw is no good, and the rebound is out of bounds. Last touch for the Bison. I think that... On Belfield, yeah. You're right. They've called a loose ball foul against DeMichael. Hey, you can live with hustle, but you have to be smart, Scott, when you have three fouls, and there's still over two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, and that's his fourth, uh, his third foul? I had him with three. They're showing three on the board, so you still have to be smart about it. Yeah, well, one thing about DeMichael Belfield, he's so big and strong, he can push people around with not even full strength. And I think he just was a little too physical, and you're right, need to be a little bit smarter on the back side of that rebound. Anthony Jones will be at the line for the double bonus. He hits both. OBU with 11 team fouls. And their lead is reduced to four, 25-21. It had been six, and that was the biggest of the half. Jordan Thompson into the front court, working right side. Guarded by Jalen Smith. Gets a screen from Belfield, dances to the wing. Now moves back left, bounces a one-handed pass. To Thompson, left quarter, Green for three, and he got it. Roy Green with a huge bucket. Before that, partner, he was shooting just 14% from beyond the arc. You could see Green just waiting for that one, licking his chops. He rises up, perfect follow through left corner. Four of 22, Trey Green from beyond the arc this year. 2.05 to play of the half, the lead seven, 28-21. Right side, Brian Free, top of the key, Jalen Smith. High post is Parsons. He takes a dribble and knocks down the jump shot. Well, that's a good shot by Parsons because Belfield was straight up and high, so Parsons had to shoot it over him. That's why he's the top of the backboard. Right wing is Brantley Thompson down low to Belfield. Backs down, goes up. Moody blocked the shot. Jack Pruitt with a rebound, goes back up. Moody blocked another one as he swats it out to Larry White. White up the right sideline, one on three. Kicks it back out front. Rangers are going to settle for a three right wing, and they got it from Brian Free. Nice block shots by the Rangers coming from behind, giving Oklahoma Baptist a taste of their own medicine because Nigel Wilcox and D.J. Freeman do that all the time. Probably a five-point turnaround and a much-needed one for the Rangers. 127 to play first half. OB's lead is 2, 28-26 as we keep it right here. Malik Parsons in the first half has three points. Their leading score is Larry White with eight. White also has... Four rebounds and two steals. OBU's leading scorer with six is Daquan Sims on two of two three-point shooting. Juan is not out there. It's Pruitt, Freeman, Green, Putnam, and Brantley Thompson on the floor right now for acting head coach Josh Davis. 
like he's mentioned, Brantley Thompson struggling a little bit with his jump shot. I thought he, you know, he's he's been hot and cold, sometimes super hot. 0-7 tonight. Brantley will inbound to Burke Putnam in the backcourt. Burke sets the table, left front court, guarded by Jalen Smith. Pruitt against the man-to-man -man between the circles, goes to Freeman, right front court, and had a tray, middle of the floor. Back to Burke, spinning, working right wing. One hand's a pass across the floor. Green back to Burke, seven to shoot. Ball knocked out of Putnam's hands by Larry White. Now Burke attacks the goal, goes up and draws the foul. Yeah. There's a lot of hits by Larry White. It's hard to knock the ball away from a guy like Burke Putnam. Second foul against Jalen Smith. OBU is already into the one and one. That's the eighth foul against the Rangers, but this will be two shots. How many times have we seen that this year, partner, with the shot clock under duress, the other team defending well for about 25 seconds, and then Putnam just bails the bison out? Well, Putnam between the legs, behind the back, he is so astute handling the basketball. He's got the inside-outside game. You come out on him, he's going to the rim. Burke hits the first. The lead is three, 29-26. The senior transfer from Valdosta State, native of Oklahoma from Tulsa. OBU is his third collegiate career stop. That one pinballs in and out out of high school. Played a year at Connors, two seasons at Valdosta, and now a year here at OBU. Out with this, Brian Freig for the goal. Misses a tip up is good. Larry Freeman with the basket. God, or Larry White, excuse me. This guy's a really good player. Yeah, Freeman was in position for the rebound, but he didn't anticipate it an air ball, but White did. 29-28, 33 seconds to play first half. Thompson triggers three left wing, no good. And the rebound run down by Burke Putnam. Putnam to the goal, goes back door and lays it in with the left hand. That is unbelievable. You think he's on the right side, puts the ball on the floor left with the left hand, uses the room as protection. Points for Burke Putnam, 12th to play in the first half. Rangers playing for the final shot. Brian Free, right wing side to Hanson. Now to Moody, five seconds to go in the half. Moody pump fakes, gets Putnam in the air, goes left side to left for three. This is wide right, Green with a rebound. As time expires, LBU will settle for a three-point advantage at home over the upstart Rangers of Northwestern. 31-28 is our score. Our halftime show brought to you by Noble McIntyre of McIntyre Laws. Coming up next on Classic Hits, KGFM. Noble McIntyre. And I'm Jordan Klinger of McIntyre Law. The devastation of losing a loved one is impossible to measure. When it happens because of someone else's negligence, the grief can be overwhelming. Wrongful death cases are unique. Whether the cause was an automobile, semi, motorcycle, medical malpractice, or job-related accident, we can help. If you want to know more about your family's rights, call us. The consultation is free. We love what we do, and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today. We can't walk in your shoes. Or work right beside you. But we can be here for you. In money in life. We get it. We're on this path together. You and TFCU. Tinker Federal Credit Union. Cliff Critters is a proud of its partnership with OBU. For your printing needs, visit my Cliff Critters at 1815 North Harrison Street right here in Shawnee. Busy students can keep up with their finances day or night using the Tinker Federal Credit Union's convenient online services and mobile app. Visit them online at tinkermcu.org for more information. To Kingdom Causes and get expert help along the way. Build a solid foundation for your family. Start your estate plan today. Visit watersedgeservices.org. <laughs> Miller back here with you from the campus of Oklahoma Baptist University in Shawnee. OBU's women won the opening game to snap Northwestern's seven-game win streak at halftime. The men looking for the sweep 
31-28 over a very game Northwestern bunch at halftime. Our halftime review presented by OBU alumnus Noble McIntyre and his team at McIntyre Law. If you need an experienced award-winning personal injury attorney to review your case, visit them online at McIntyreLaw.com. Located at the heart of Shawnee's Depot District is Theopolis, a neighborhood restaurant offering an exciting menu of scratch-made dishes highlighting local ingredients. Their modern eclectic downtown space includes ample outdoor seating and the best live music of the area on Theo's patio. Make Theopolis your destination before or after the game. Book online at theopolissc.com or call 405-788-4404 to make your reservations today. It is frigid here in Oklahoma today. Wind chills in the single digits. Not much warmer here in the gym as far as the offensive numbers are concerned. Northwestern out shooting Oklahoma Baptist in the first 20 minutes. 37.5% for the field to 33%. For the Bison, Brantley Thompson is 0 of 8, including 0 of 7 from 3. Scott has the first half numbers coming up in just a moment. We are at halftime. The Bison lead the Rangers 31-28. This is Oklahoma Baptist basketball on KGFF. How can you describe Whataburger's honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich? The chicken just has a certain... And then there's the sauce that just gives you a little bit of... And the cheese? It's the exact right amount of... It's almost too hard to put it into... Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. The Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich at Whataburger. Just like you like it. Welcome back to Bison Hill here in Shawnee. Halftime, Oklahoma Baptist leads Northwestern 31-28 in the men's game. For the Rangers, Larry White having a great game with a huge block shot coming up from behind. He's 5 of 7 from the floor, 0 for 2 from downtown, missed both free throws. He has 10 points, 6 rebounds. Bubba Furlong at 6 foot 9, only playing 12 minutes, 1 of 3 from the field. He has 3 rebounds, and he has a deuce. Malik Parsons, one of five from the floor, made his only free throw attempt. He has three points. For Brian Free, he's two for four from the field, two for two from beyond the arc, six points. It was Brian Free up in Alva after the Bison had a huge lead at halftime to help mount a big comeback where the Bison just held on for the victory. Ravel Moody, he misses only field goal, two for three from the free throw line. He has two points. Anthony Jones, zero for three, misses only three-point attempt. He's four for four from the charity stripe, four points. And rounding out the scoring for Northwestern, Chance Love, one of two from the free throw line for one point for Northwestern's 28 points. For Oklahoma Baptist, Nigel Wilcox, only six minutes and 21 seconds of playing time, but he has five boards in that time, saddled with two fouls, two points. Harrison Stoddart saddled with three fouls. He's played six minutes, 10 seconds, one of two from the field, one of one from beyond the arc, three points. Jaquan Sims, an untarnished two for two. Those were both three-pointers. He has six points. 
Burke Putnam, two of nine from the field, two of four from the line, six points. Brantley Thompson has six assists, but he's 0 of eight from the field, 0 of seven from downtown. Trey Green made a huge three-pointer, bringing down rain from the left corner, one of one, three points. DJ Freeman, one of three from the field. He has a deuce, a steal. Jordan Thompson, one of two from the field, one for one from downtown. Three points to Michael Belfield, one of two from the field, one of two from the line. Three points. And then Jack Pruitt, only four minutes and nine seconds of playing time. Jack Pruitt has four rebounds, one of two from the field, one of two from the line for three points for the Bisons, 31 points. At halftime, Bison 31, Rangers 28. This is Bison Basketball, KGFF, Classic Hits. Yeah. Okay. Spending life wisely means taking small steps towards a life of love and impact. And we're here to inspire and empower you along the way. Spend life wisely. First United Bank. Welcome back to the Noble Complex, Oklahoma Baptist on top of Northwestern Oklahoma State Rangers, 31-28 OBU flipping the script here from uh, playing that Southern Nazarene where now they're out rebounding the Rangers. 27-17 led by Nigel Wilcox, five rebounds. Freeman and Pruitt both have four apiece. Biggest lead of the game for Northwestern was seven. That was at 14-43 mark. Oklahoma Baptist was seven as well with 221 to play before intermission. The best scoring run for Northwestern, that was a dozen points at the 14 43 mark. OBU's was six at the 12 19 mark before the opening half. Lead has changed twice, game's been tied twice. Time with the lead, Oklahoma Baptist holds a nine minute 57 second advantage to seven minutes and 29 seconds. Points off turnovers, Northwestern six, OBU five. Points in the paint, Rangers 14, Bison 12. Second chance points, Oklahoma Baptist with an 11 to four advantage. Fast break points, Rangers eight on the high side. And then bench points, Oklahoma Baptist by a substantial margin, 14 to five. Shooting in the first half, the Rangers 9 of 24, 37.5%. Through 2 of 6 from beyond the arc, 33%. 8 of 12 from the free throw line at 67%. For Oklahoma Baptist, they're 11 of 33 from the floor, 33%. 5 of 13 from beyond the arc, 38.5%. 4 of 8 from the free throw line. And we stand at halftime. Oklahoma Baptist 31, Northwest 28. This is Bison Basketball on GFF. It's Thanks, Bob.
Okay. I'll go get something. Reminder, OBU hits the road for the longest road trip of the series of next week. Next Thursday night in Magnolia against Southern Arkansas. Next Saturday afternoon, an afternoon matinee at Arkansas Monticello. This the only home game for OBU's men and women in a stretch of five games that started on Tuesday night with the makeup at Arkadelphia. They have a stretch of four of five away from the Noble Complex. So a big opportunity for the Mites and to head out on the road for two more with a no worse than share of first place of the Great American Conference. Bison will go from right to left, Northwestern left to right, west east inside the Noble Complex. How you may be and wherever you may be accessing our broadcast, we're glad to have you today. Whether it's over the free and open airways here in Shawnee, 1450 AM, 100.9 FM, obubison.com, or kgff.com. Rangers are going to start the second half with White, Parsons, Free, Furlong, Ravel, Moody. We would expect that OBU will counter with their original five. That's Sims, Wilcox, Brantley, Thompson, Putnam, and Stoddart. Keep in mind, Harrison Stoddart picked up three first half, uh, fouls in the first half, so he has to be very, very careful as Josh Davis, the acting head coach, will start him here in the second half. Bison will have the basketball, and here we go. Final 12 minutes or 20 minutes of the season rivalry with Northwestern is underway. Stoddart with it to Putnam left front court. Burke through the top of the key, leans for the right block and lays it in. Burke Putnam with his third basket. He has eight. Lead is 5, 33, 28. Rangers push. Now they'll go into their slowdown offense. As the Bison get back, Brian Free left side for Moody. Top of the circle, Malik Parsons. Right side for Free, looking for Furlong, who bounces it. Gets the bounce pass and then throws it away. Harrison Stunner with the interception. Bison lead by five with the basketball. 19-18 to play in the second half. Brantley Thompson with it across midcourt. Ravel Moody in the man-to-man -man pressures the ball. Brantley 0 of 8 shooting, 0 of 7 beyond the arc of the first half, but still did his usual thing. Sims is perfect from three-point range. Back rims that one. Rangers have it corralled, and they have the rebound. Parsons into the front court. Jump passes left side. Brian Free. Northwestern of the road. Black, white, and red uniforms. White attacks. Goes at Wilcox. Shoots over Stoddard at Wilcox. He missed it, but Furlong tips it in. Bubba Furlong with just his fourth point. He only had 3.6 rebounds when these two teams played up at Alva. 33-30, another one-possession lead for the Bison. 90 seconds into the second half. Stoddard drives to the baseline, comes to a jump stop, and took a hard fall to the floor as he was fouled by Brian Free, who got his money's worth, and that's the second on Free. Harrison is helped up, helped up off the floor by his teammates, and he'll regather himself to the foul line. Harrison Stoddard is neck and neck in the top 20 in scoring to the career charts at OBU with his teammate and best friend Brantley Thompson. In fact, entering Thursday night, they were separated by just eight points. First foul shot is good. Of course, Stoddard missing 10 games after an opening night injury that originally was thought to maybe be an ACL. Prayers were answered. It was not. Stoddard hits one of two. And the rebound to Northwestern. 34-30 our score, 18-32 to play, second half. Ravel Moody, middle of the floor for Parsons. Two dribbles, clears it to the right wing, now attacks against Thompson. Jump passes left side, Larry White over Wilcox for three, and he got it. Well, White having a big game. He's six for eight from the floor for a dozen points. 34-33, Brantley tries to get it back, and does! Rattling one in left wing. Mr. Clutch hits a big one. It's 37-33. How about that confidence? 0 for 7 from three-point line. Just nails one when you need it. That high for long. Backs it out and gets it to Ravel Moody. OBU in a zone defense. It's a 2-3 look. Moody for three. Back rims it right side. White the rebound. 
Pivots goes back up over Nigel. Foul line left. He missed it. Nothing but wires. He's around the hoop. Hutt went to the floor. Looked like he got by with a travel. And but hey, Patel is barking at the ear of the official Tyrone Bunt. Down low. It's Putnam. The shot was blocked. I think that was Furlong. Now it's free. Pulls up with the foul line off the break. Missed it. Rebound. Handed by Jaquan Sims. Bison, two and a half minutes in, lead by four in the second half. Jaquan Sims, there he is again, doing all those little integral things, that big one-handed rebound. He's all over the court. 37 to 33. Sims had a great game against Hard last home game last week. Robert Porter Stoddard bounces it low. They're going to call a ticky-tack foul against Bubba Furlong. They said he had his hand to the back, and that's the third on Furlong. A 6'9 senior from Waco, Texas. You talk to people around the program about Bubba Furlong. He just loves being a Ranger. Loves helping to sell this program to prospective recruits. In fact, he's the one that usually hosts the recruiting visits for Vinay Patel. That's how much of a fan he is of being at Northwestern. And he is one of the three that are holdovers from last year. Brantley Thompson lobs it out front. Harrison Stoddard. Right circle. Now he touches it to Burke Putnam, 16 17 to play. Bison lead it by four. Stoddard to Brantley, foul line right in the corner of Sims. Sims with the left hand gets to the free throw line, jump passes, and it's knocked out of bounds by Moody with seven to shoot. So the Bison need to come up with something quickly, and that's usually when you dial up number five. Nice deny there. That makes, uh, that kept the ball out of the hands of Burke Putnam in the left corner. Putnam fronted on the entry pass by Eric Hansick, who just checked in. Burke bounces it to Brantley, 5-15-footer, air ball. Just, in fact, well, just grazed the front of the rim. White the rebound to midcourt, bounces it ahead to Jones, to Hansick, left side, Ravel Moody. Moody left quarter to Brian Free. They work the perimeter, OBU, in a man zone defense. They try to lob it down. It's knocked away from Jones, and over the back was Burke Putnam, who has his first. Hard to believe anybody that has played the number of minutes that Burke has to this point in the ballgame, almost three and a half deep into the second half. Only has one foul. Called by Hill, putting them a little, little aggressive little fouls. Uh, Tyrone Bunch and Calvin Prince, the other officials. Ravel Moody will inbound. Shot clock resets to 20. At the foul line is Larry White. His jumper in and out. Sims the rebound. Moody crashing. Call is called for the foul. So the Denver native Ravel Moody has team foul number three on the board here in the second half against Northwestern. Rangers go to Harding next Thursday night, a, runnable, a winnable game in Searcy. That kicks off a back-to-back -back road to Arkansas for Northwestern next week. In fact, this is the first of three straight away from Alva after a three-game homestand for the Rangers. Right side, Jaquan Sims bounces it off of the baseline. Nigel Wilcox goes back to and lays it in. And they did not allow Anthony Jones, fortunately, to get by with the flock. Exactly. Good call, Todd. I totally agree. Was a flop. Allowed Wilcox to get to the rim. Moody had it picked, driving in, and it's knocked off of his left hip out of bounds. And that was Jaquan Sims. There you go, one dog. Make it a play. Timeout. 15:58 play. Second half in Shawnee. ODU 39. Northwestern Oklahoma State 33. This is Bison basketball and classic hits. KGFF. Said she wasn't hungry. She only wanted. A bite. But this isn't just a patty melt. This is a Whataburger patty melt. The all-time favorite. With two all-beef patties, Monterey Jack, grilled onions, and creamy pepper sauce. So one bite became two. And two became mine. Just a bite, huh? Mark that one down as a lesson learned. The Whataburger patty melt. Just like you like it. to play, second half. OBU has held Northwestern scoreless for the last 2.21 on a 5 nothing run to stretch the advantage to 6, 39-33. OBU just unable today, at least to this point, to shake free from a very determined Ranger club. 
Thompson inbounds. Brantley gets the return. Now hands it off. But clears it to the front court from right to left. Jalen Smith comes in out, out, defends the basketball. Now it's Brantley Thompson to a Kevin Putnam, and he lays it in. Boy, Brantley is just dropping dives. That's his seventh of the game. Putnam baited the, the defender into that right into Harrison Stoddard. Perfect back screen for contested layup. Eight-point lead now. White drives deep. Was it high off the glass and missed it. Jones crashes, tips it back out left side. Brian free of the paint, but he throws it to Sims. Jaquan one-on-one to the goal. Layup is good! Jaquan Sims with a bucket. OBU has it a double-digit lead. I think them uh, punch that out and then Sims picks it up. And what a great play. Up and then he kind of hangs in the air off the glass. Right corner as White dribbles into the paint. Hand check foul called. And it looks like it is against Blake Thompson. That's his first. Our officiating crew, Terry Hill, Calvin Prince, Tyrone Bunn. Here comes Jordan Thompson, Trey Green, DJ Freeman into the ball game. Brantley, Harrison, and Jaquan are going to check out. So over you able to pick up some minutes. In fact, almost five minutes to the second half, Scott, without Harrison picking up his fourth. Yeah, that's a great job. Harry had those, that first free throw. I think that just sometimes a free throw can get you back in rhythm when you're on the bench for a while. Smith inbounds to Hansik, pump fakes. Right quarter fight, they swing it around the quarter. Now they flash Jones' elbow right. He started to lose his balance, kept his dribble, and throws it up for the right block and in. Anthony Jones with his first bucket of the ball game. He has six for a four for the foul line, and that's a much needed bucket. Tyrone Bunch is the official. Jordan Thompson around the defender. Smith and he lays it in a wicked crossover dribble for the freshman from Southmore. Wow, the defender's all over him. He goes back to the left hand. He's leaning sideways and then off with the little kind of side right hand leaning away from the goal. 55-35, Oklahoma Baptist, 14-14 to play. Second half, Brian Free goes left, Putnam now lobs it on a cross-court pass for Jalen Smith. Smith working against Jordan Thompson, takes him to the block, goes up and in off the glass, and JT hacked him. So Jalen Smith will have a chance at an add and one, and Jordan Thompson has foul numero uno. Yeah, Jordan Thompson might have fouled there, but right before that on that jump stop, Jalen Smith took that long jump stop and then stumbled because that's like a step and then if you stumble those are extra steps. Jalen Smith, redshirt sophomore from Wichita, 7 of 10 to the foul line this year, misses short. OBU's lead is 8 as Wilcox skies for the rebound. Nigel, one of the leading rebounders of the conference, just controls his fifth miss. 45-37, Bison with 14 minutes to play second half. Burt Putnam working against Smith, bounces it across the floor, Jordan Thompson got him at a 3, now starts to dribble, is cut off right circle. Diagonally cross puts it for Nigel under 10 to shoot. Wilcox to the goal and a big block for the high. That's Larry White. That's his second block and the fifth for one of the nation's best shot blocking teams in the And both of his watch shots came from behind. Kind of reminds you of P.J. Freeman, Nigel Wilcox do that all the time. Smith is out and Hansett comes back in. Jaquan Sims is in and Jordan Thompson checks out. 45-37. Bison have hit for their last five. Burt Putnam is three for his last four. He has it in his hands. He falls away right elbow to the stripe, and he missed the jump shot. Well defended. Free with the rebound. Speeds back the other way into the body of Putnam. And Burt takes the shot. Great body control by the Valdosta transfer as he somehow was able to stay in the air long enough to get a piece of that ball. And the speed because Free is so fast that Putnam had to get in front of Free for that block shot. 13-19 to play. Second half. Trey Green lobs it. Slide for Nigel Wilcox out front to Sims. Sims working against Malik Parsons. Left wing Putnam's three. Get it out and then back down. Burke Putnam has his fifth basket. Look out. He's starting to get hot. OBU stretched it to 11. That's a tough three-point shot from the left wing. Malik Parsons all over Putnam. Putnam makes it anyway. Jones bounces it to White. Cut to the basket. He jump stops and hits a one-hander in the middle of the paint. Nice move by White. He's out close to the three-point line, that long jump stop inside the free throw line, then the little finger roll in the bucket. 13 for Larry White. He had 16 and 8 rebounds with the Bison were at Alva in December. Sims lobs it for Wilcox. It was offline. Nigel just comes up and goes back door, stripped out of his hands. He hits it back, and he's fouled. And Wilcox may have gotten hit in the face or in the eye. Looks like his left eye. And... Calvin Prince and Terry Hill are visited across the way about something. They now signal the foul on Anthony Jones. That's his second. 
So Nigel will go to the free throw line. He had a huge game against Southern Nazarene. In fact, he had 17 points on Thursday night at the loss at Bethany. It's the third time in two years Nigel has had a 17-point game. And two of those three occasions have come against the Crimson Storm. Wilcox first free throw clangs off the hill of the rim. And Wilcox, Long will check in for the Rangers. In Bethany, Wilcox's jump shot tied along the baseline looked beautiful. He hadn't taken any of those shots today against the Rangers. Brantley Thompson replaces Trey Green to the floor. Nigel will get one more to put this back to a 10-point lead. It's on the way, and it is good. Nigel Wilcox with his fifth point, an average at 8.4 to go along with seven rebounds. And here comes Stoddart back in to replace Wilcox. 49-39 with 12 and a half minutes to play here for the Noble Complex. Next week, it's the Southern Arkansas trip. Magnolia and Monticello. First stop, SAU on Thursday night. Brian Free, right wing, top of the key. Malik Parsons back to Free, bites into the zone. Brian Free dances with the basketball in front of his head. Now it's White straight on, and he got it. Tell you what, Larry White, and we have yet to see every team of the conference. We're getting close. We will after next week. But Larry White's one of my favorite players in this league. Larry White has that inside-outside game. He can put it on the floor. He can dunk. He can block shots. He is an all-around player. 49-42, and he's young, just a sophomore, a redshirt sophomore out of Topeka. Brantley Thompson guarded by Larry out front. 11 to shoot. Now to Burt trying to cross over a dribble, and they're going to call him for carrying it. OBU will give it back on their ninth turnover. Timeout on the floor. The other 12 media timeout comes from 11.50 to play. Second half, Oklahoma Baptist 49, Northwestern Oklahoma State 42. This is OBU basketball on KGFF. Over at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. Looking at 3306. Or Whataburger stickers. Proof that everything you dream up for your 100% fresh beef Whataburger is right under the bun. So go wild, burger lover. Avocado, jalapenos, and no onions. Wait, avocado grilled jalapenos. Oh, and bacon and creamy pepper sauce. However you dream it, we'll make it. Whataburger, just like you like it. Bison Athletic Association donors are making a direct and tangible impact on the success of 450-plus OBU student-athletes in the classroom, the community, and of the field competition. When you give to the VAA, you are truly invested in champions. Learn more. Sign up today at obubison.com forward slash VAA. Furlong handles it to the front court out of the break. Hands it. Left side to White. Drives. Good defense by the freshman Freeman. Cut him off. Not a Furlong. Drive it against Stoddart, and he throws it up. That's a good, smart play by Furlong, trying to get number four on Harrison. Yeah, Furlong going as strong as he could. He was bumped and drawing the contact. Good no call. Not, nice shot with the one hand. Jordan Thompson spins right wing side. Hansick stays with him. Now it's Stoddard to Brantley Thompson. It curls over the top of the key. Gets it down low. And a squeeze over Harrison. In one as he lays it up and in. Boy, are those two guys in sync. Brantley Thompson doesn't look that way. He's looking down at the floor at the top of the key. Dribbling to the right, then at the second he turns with the curling Stoddard on the backside. Malik Parsons with his second. Harrison to the line looking for point number seven. He's one of two uncharacteristically missed on one of his two attempts earlier and he cleanly hits that. Harrison is better than an 82 percent foul shooter in his five years here on Bison Hill. 52-44 under 11 to play second half. Furlong top of the circle. Bubba hands it off to Parsons. Across court at White, open three, short, and it caroms right to free. Look, Larry White, that's his shot wide, but nobody within five feet of it. Bison dodged a bullet and preserve an eight-point lead. Sims gets a bounce pass in front of his left side, back to Jordan Thompson. Thompson gets a screen, fires a three left wing. It's no good. Or even poked out, but to Northwestern. Stoddard was the one that had a paw on the basketball. Furlong goes to work, left low post to a cutting White on the bounce pass, and he's fouled. Big on Brantley Thompson, that's his second. 
Big contest for both teams. Northwestern losing to Southwestern at home. Oklahoma Baptist on the road uh, having that off game at Southern Nazarene. OBU's women handy Northwestern their first loss in their last eight games. A double-digit victory in the opener today over, a, I think it's fair to say, Lady Ranger team that might have had a hangover. First foul shot by Larry White is short. I'll tell you this, though, OBU did not have a Southern Nazarene hangover after a racing 17-point deficit in the first half and a 12-point hole at halftime to win by a point at Bethany Thursday. Second free throw hit the back of the rim, clangs high in the air. Putnam with a rebound and a foul against Hanson. It is already team foul number five. Like that six against Northwestern here. So free throws very likely going to help in OBU's cause to try and beat the Rangers for what would be the seventh straight time. Yeah, Kevin Prince all over that call. It's hard. Burke Putnam is so fundamentally sound. He gets the rebound and keeps it away. Then Eric Hansick comes all over Putnam. Uh, Calvin Prince makes the call. There's a little bit of mouthing from the Northwestern bench. Prince. Jaquan first. Sims denied to Wilcox. Explosive first step and a foul on Fur uh, Furlong, and that's his fourth. Prince put a stop to it. Patel said no talk off the bench. Chance Love is going to come into the ball game. The Rangers have not won here in Shawnee since Jason Aker took over the program. This is their fourth trip here to Shawnee. They're 0 and 3 in the four years that Aker has been the head coach. And we know Jason and his family are watching and listening out in Arizona. Just know everyone in Shawnee and the Bison family love you and are praying for you during this difficult time. Nigel's foul shot is up, and that one is good. Josh Davis, a very capable fill-in, though. He and Zach Rogers are two terrific sidekicks for Coach Aker as they built this program up. Second one is up, and that one back rims. Nigel's two of four for the foul lot. 53-44, quickly up ahead, right side. It's Parsons into the paint. To takes a dribble, lays it in. Chance Love is over. He can get back, gets his first basket. He has three. Yeah, on the free throw, you usually have two safeties. You cannot let that happen where Northwest gets a layup on the other end off a free throw. 9.48 to play second half. OBU's lead has been as many as 11. Jordan Tyler, the freshman goal. His second year out of Southmore with it to Putnam down the paint. Layup good. Holy Toledo, Burke Putnam sliding left, gliding to the goal, changing the ball from his off right to his off hand. Gets the bucket in and and one. Very few people on planet Earth can make that shot. With the little jump stop in between two defenders, like you said, from the right to the left in motion off the glass. Burke misses another free throw. And the Rangers control the rebound. That foul was on Malik Parsons. It's his third. Burke today, uncharacteristically, is two for five for the stripe. Under nine and a half minutes to play. 55-46. Good guys. In the home white, green, and gold today. Wing with it is Brian Free. Hands it off to Hansett between the circles to Love. Left to Parsons. OBU in a man-to-man -man defense. Shot clock getting deep. It's down to five. Right side, they bounce it to Love, who muscles up, and the shot was in. The cylinders rattled out at the shot clock. Love gets it back, and he's fouled. And that will cost Burke Putnam his second personal foul. Well, I'm giving shout-outs my buddy Trent Goss, who he and I had a 16-year run together doing Ranger basketball, one of the best friends I'll ever have, and one of the best working relationships ever is listening today. And glad you're listening in, and uh, certainly miss you, my friend. Burke Putnam almost with a clean block there. Uh, he just does so many things and so many things that, uh, like I was talking about earlier, people on planet Earth that can't do. What a talent Burke Putnam is. Chance Love has looked good off of the bench. This is only his fourth appearance. He's a sophomore. The second one is short off the front iron, and Nigel from nowhere glides in to take the miss away. 55-47 Oklahoma Baptist. Nine minutes to play here for Shawnee. Burke Putnam. Cross midcourt from right to left. He'll attack. Now spins left to right. Following jumpers. Good for the left elbow. Wow. Burke Putnam with 17 points. Just like that, he already has 11 in 11 minutes. Putnam dribbling kind of to the left side on the left side of the lane. Stops. Spin pivots around. Fall away jumper in the paint. Money. Free, uh, uh, free hands it off. Left front court for Eric Hansen. That'll love who angles right. Gets it to Parsons. Parsons drop steps around Putnam. Throws it up back. Rimmed it. Hansick with a rebound and a foul. 
against OBU. You notice fun. every time, Scott, that the Bison have not been able to get the initial miss, it's cost them a foul. And now in two straight possessions, it's cost their best player. Back-to-back -back fouls, and Putnam has three. You're right, Northwestern doing a good job crashing the boards, Putnam on the outside. Sixth foul, second half of OBU, so next free throw since Northwestern to the line. 13 to shoot, hand with it left side to Love, attacks against Nigel Wilcox, goes right to left, puts up a hook, and he missed it. Rebound out of bounds. And it belongs to Oklahoma Baptist. Chance Love having a tough time hitting some of those little short shots around the block and around the rim. Noticeably absent during that sequence was they reset the shot clock. And Jason, or Josh Davis quickly said, hey, why are we resetting the shot clock? Now, Vinay Patel wants to say something to Calvin Prince. Timeout, 8.16 to play, second half, Oklahoma Baptist, 57, Northwestern Oklahoma State, 47. This is Bison Basketball and KGFF. Thank you. at McIntyre Law. We have over 100 years of experience fighting for Oklahomans injured in automobile and semi-accidents. Distracted driving is an epidemic. According to government studies, one in four crashes now involve texting and driving. That's 1.6 million accidents caused each year by distracted drivers. If you have been injured and you want to know your rights, call us now. The consultation is free. We love what we do and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today. At the First National Bank and Trust Company, our team is committed to serving yours. Visit our Shunny Branch location to find out more about our products and services. Check us out online at fnboka.bank. That's the First National Bank and Trust Company, your bank for life. Member FDIC. Ty Miller, Scott Waters with you in Shawnee. Putnam attacks to the goal, goes up, and it was blocked. I think that might have been white again into the front court free. Right side to Parsons, glides to the goal over the swatting right hand of Wilcox, and he drops it in. Yeah, that was blocked by White, and nice move by Parsons. Starts way outside the three-point line on the right wing with some spin moves. 57 to 49, Northwestern gets it down to single digits again with 7.40 to play in the ball game. Putnam to Brantley Thompson, baseline left to Wilcox. Now to Burke Putnam in front of us, left side. Burke crosses over, bounces it for Thompson for three. Got it! Jordan Thompson with a huge three for the right circle. JT has two threes and eight points off of the bench. Northwestern so worried about Burke Putnam getting to the rim. That opens it up for Thompson from downtown. 19-12, the bench scored advantage for OBU. In the paint, pump faking free, misses it, follows shot up and in by Malik Parsons. And Josh Davis has had it up for the lack of offensive rebounding. OBU out rebounding the Rangers 12-7, but in the last couple of minutes, Scott, it has not been a work of art on the defensive glass. No, and a lot of points in the paint tonight. 26 uh, for Oklahoma, no, 28 for Oklahoma Baptist, 30 for the Rangers. Timeout, 7.15 to go. Bison by nine on KGFF. Okay. The Honey Barbecue Chicken Strip Sandwich at Whataburger. Just like you like it. Exceptional care would offer the latest advances in medical services. As always, 
Glad to have SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital, Shawnee, as part of our Bison football and basketball broadcast. Left quarter with it is Brantley Thompson, angles to the wing, Northwestern in a zone. Seven minutes to play, it's actually a man to man. Jordan Thompson to Brantley Thompson to Burke Putnam, shot clock down to the 10, watch Burke work. Behind the back dribble, trying to cross over dribble, it's knocked away, Freeman on the floor diving, gets it to Putnam, pulls up foul line left at the shot clock buzzer, he missed it, the tip by Freeman, right at the buzzer, rolled off the front of the rim, and Northwestern has it. That was Larry White's good defense over Putnam toward the buzzer. Left baseline, Malik. Parsons, no shot, and the foul is going to send the Rangers to the free throw line for a one-and-one. One. D.J. Freeman has his first. Here's a good chance. Uh, you know, the Rangers keeping it close. Oklahoma Baptist up 60-51, to 51, 636 to play. This is crunch time, and look for a lot more Burke Putnam. OBU has outscored Northwestern by one more fa made field goal. Bison are 11 of 20, Rangers 10 of 21, and the free throw is no good. Rangers are hurting their own cause from the foul line. With that miss, they drop to under 50% for the ball game. 60 to 51 with 6.19 to go. Brantley Thompson, Nigel Wilcox, left baseline around the defender Jones, and he throws up a hook and drops it down. Love the determination by Wilcox. He was determined to score on that. Gliding through the paint, and the shot rolls off Malik Parsons. He gets his own miss. Pump fakes back up and in, and it's fouled. Another second chance basket for Northwestern and a foul against Freeman, it's his second. Malik Parsons out of San Diego, he's something to deal with. He does a lot. He gets those long strides to the goal. He's strong inside and scores quite a bit. Freeman is out, Harrison Stoddart comes in. Bubba Furlong is checked back in for the Rangers. Northwestern starting game road trip. They'll be in Searcy next Thursday night, Russellville a week from today. OBU at Magnolia t on Thursday and UAM a week from today. Parsons hits the free throw and it's 62-54. Seems like every time the Rangers want to make a little bit of a run, they get it down to eight and OBU stretches it back to double digits. See if they can get a, ba a basket here. Putnam behind the back, yo-yo dribbles, falls underneath the foul line, puts up the jumper and White got a fingertip. Into the front court, it's free. Left side to Jones. Now to Parsons. Malik drives left to right, lays it up for the foul. I think on the other end, White was smiling that he got away with a foul on Putnam there. Green has his third. Vinay Patel coached at OCU for four seasons. On eight to game for taking it over three years ago. In Alva, he's been an assistant and interim head coach. At West Texas A&M, he also was an assistant for Justin Barkley at Roger State in Claremore. First free throw is up and down. He is a very good young coach. And I think the job he has done remaking this roster this year has been as impressive, if not more so, than any other job of the league. Second foul shot, good. Parsons gets both, and they now have scored four straight. 62-56. Bison have just one of their last four. It's Jaquan, a tight game. Jaquan Sims across pit court, right to left. Defended by Anthony Jones, cross courts it for Brantley Thompson. He drives, has it taken away. It was Malik Parsons with a steal. Goal with the way up good, and here we go again. Just like what happened at Alva. They made that late run and made things very, very scary. 62-58, Sims a lob pass, wanted to go cross court. Now burns the dribble, bounces it for Nigel Wilcox in the corner. Wilcox working against Furlong, takes him off the dribble, goes back door, missed the layup. Nigel's too quick for Bubba. Into the front court, Anthony Jones. Left quarter, they thought about a three. Parsons turns it down, drives, now kicks it out, bounces it top of the circle to free. 18 to shoot. Parsons with it right wing for three, bricked it. Rebound is on the floor. Nigel Wilcox was pushed that time by Parsons going for the loose ball, and that's number four on the leak. It'll be a one and one for Nigel Wilcox at the other end with 4.53 to play. Just having that body control, Nigel Wilcox, he dives on the floor, then turns his back to Parsons, forcing only Parsons could go through his back to get that ball. Good call by Tyrone Bunch. Rangers, both their men and women, hoping they have to make a return engagement in early March here to Shawnee. Fire Lake Arena, the site of this year's Great American Conference Men's and Women's Basketball Championships. Nigel Wilcox missed his first, made his next two, missed his last free throw. That was for an and one. Bison really need this one. They get it from Nigel. That pushes it back to a five-point lead. 
Wilcox, eight points, nine rebounds. So Nigel is flirting with another double-double, and he does it so quickly. Second one is up. That one rolls home. Big buckets or big points, and then Thompson nearly steals the inbounds pass. That was that, yeah, Brantley. We're blocked by the OB bench, who has been standing, and Josh, <laughs> Josh Davis is right in our line of sight. 4.45 to play in the ballgame. That's okay. He has a job to do. 64-58. Rangers will roll it to midcourt where it's picked up by Brian Free. Brantley Thompson guards Free, and they're going to call him for a hand check. That's number three on Brantley. Rangers are into the double bonus, so no pressure here with two free throws upcoming for the visitors from Alva. Might have been a hand check, but I'm telling you, Northwestern, that's the only way they're slowing down somebody like Jordan Thompson and Burke Putnam is some of these arm bars where they just can't get around. Brian Free is at the line for the first time. He is one of their best foul shooters at 89.5%. And it is up and front rims and down. Brian Free with a second. Cut it down to four and also be in double figures for his 10th point. This guy's a good player, graduate student from Greensboro, North Carolina. Hails from one of the most beautiful states in the lower 48. Second one is good. And a 30-second timeout call for the Ranger bench. 64-60 with 446 to play. As we keep it right here and remind you that Bison basketball Brought to you by shopobubison.com. It's your home for the very best and officially licensed bison apparel. For brands like Adidas, Callaway Golf, Columbia, and Under Armour, visit shopobubison.com today and take advantage of fast shipping. That's important in today's times. In industry-leading customer service, shopobubison.com, the official online store of OBU Athletics. 504 Thursday night from Magnolia, Arkansas. That'll be the next time at... We see you on the radio. Women at 5.30, men at 7.30, Southern Arkansas, and OBU in that game. It'll be a battle of the top two teams of the preseason conference coaches poll and a rematch of last year's semifinals won by the Mule Riders here at Sean 8. Bison basketball with 4.45 to play. Jaquan Sims gets a screen from Wilcox, brings it to the front court. Both teams into the double bonus going forward. Nigel, another rub. Now to Stoddard, who pops out top of the circle, bounces it to Brantley, goes back door, and he missed it short. Boy, it's been a miserable offensive afternoon for Thompson, bless his heart. Malik Parsons into the front court, and OBU gets back. Down low to Furlong, he goes up and through the money. And Stoddard got there late, but enough to distract the shot. Yeah, and Stoddard had a perfect, unblemished pass to Brantley Thompson, that bounce pass for the layup. Bison are plus four of the glass, 40 to 36 with that rebound. Thompson to Stoddard, spot three, top of the key, got it! Harrison Stoddard knocks his second three down, that's huge. Makes it a three possession game with under four to play. That rise up left handed shot looks great. It was six of 12 at Washita. He continues that shooting. Brian Frick gets a double high screen, now spins away. Wilcox stole it from behind. They cross court it for Anthony Jones, who gets into the paint, bounces for Furlong, a mismatch with Green, and he lays it in. Trey Green on the backside's got to get in front of Furlong. Furlong and a good bounce pass across the lane. Furlong inside there by the rim. Under three and a half to play at Noble. 67 to 62. OBU fighting hard for a season sweep for the Rangers in their seventh straight in the series. Start at right circle with the left hand. Gets to the paint. Layup going. Oh, holy Toledo Harrison started after he went to the hardwood, let out a primal scream and poked his fist. And that was another huge basket by the good guys. Wow, what a move from the right side of the lane. Stoddard left-handed all the way across the lane. Larry White all over him on his back trying to block that shot. Stoddard shoots it at the last second with that little finger roll on the reverse First layup. First foul against White takes us into the other four timeout. 3.22 to play back after these messages on Classic Hits, KGFF. 100 years of combined litigation experience fighting for Oklahomans injured by medical malpractice and medical devices. These injuries are caused by medical products including defective hip implants, hernia mesh and breast implants, and IVC filters as well as drugs such as Valsartan, Zeralto, and Celgens. If you have been injured and want to learn more about your rights, call us right now. The consultation is free. We love what we do and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today.
The Rangers have given OBU their best shot here to the second half. Northwestern shooting doubles 50% for the floor, but OBU has needed every bit of their 54% field goal shooting since halftime. Stoddard at the line, misses the free throw. He's only 50% today. Rangers with a rebound. Parsons goes down the paint, throws up a runner, missed it. Ball tipped around, juggled like a hot potato, and Furlong has it to Jones, left wing, no. Furlong, another rebound to Anthony Jones. Off balance, throws it up and gets a whistle. And that is a bailout foul, big time from Calvin Prince. Burke Putnam had both hands standing in the middle of the lane. I think it's going to be on Putnam. Nope. They're calling it on Wilcox, and that's good. That's his third. That would have been the fourth on Burke Putnam. Still a long ways to go in this one, 3.04 to play. Telling you, those guys off to our right, that is one heck of a basketball team. Well, that three-pointer by Anthony Jones was not even close, and then he gets it back inside the paint. There's just a lot of scoring in the paint. Northwestern leads 36-32 in that category, and they're only 4 of 11 from downtown. Anthony Jones hits the first free throw. Keep in mind, the Rangers have been without for some time. Jason Douglas Stanley, a double-figure score of almost 11. Second one by Jones is good. Two-possession game, 69-64. We're now under three minutes to play in regulation. Thompson goes to work out front. Brantley to Harrison right corner. Stoddard back to Brantley Thompson. Thompson drives baseline, bounces it to Wilcox, who goes left to right and throws it up and in. Well, I thought he missed it. Looked like he short-armed it on the hook, but it hit the front rim and dropped out. Precise passing by Brantley Thompson. The Rangers closing that gap in a one-handed bounce pass between the defense. Brian Free, top of the key to Jones, back to Bryant against the zone defense. Ninth assist today for Brantley Thompson. That's a career high. Furlong gets deep and goes up and under for the layup. Boy, there's another layup for the Rangers, I think. Boy, if... The Rangers will shoot from outside. I think the Bison can just put this game away. Correction, 10th assist for Brantley Thompson today. 71-66, 2.05 to play. Stoddart with it, foul out extended right wing for three, and he got it again. Hello, Harry. No, nothing wrong with that knee. What a shot. Down the paint goes Parsons, an offensive foul. And guess who it was? Harrison Stoddart that took the charge. Parsons turns it over on his fifth foul. Well, you talk about clutch. Two minutes left. Oklahoma Baptist 74, Northwestern 66. From the right wing, a clutch three-pointer by the left-hander Stoddard. Then he takes the charge on the other end. It's fantastic. I'll tell you what, and I'm not the only one that will say this. It is going to be a sad, sad day when Harrison Stoddard plays his last game. He is as good of a young man as you'll find. He's a tribute to his family. But I'll tell you what. He is one heck of a basketball player. 74-66, been away for 10 games and really for the most part has looked about like his old self since returning against Harding last week. Burt Putnam behind the back to Stoddart, trying to get separation to get the three off Kent. Now to Sims, 11 to shoot. Stoddart left quarter for three, air ball that one. And Larry White has it. Quick trigger, OBU's lead is eight. Into the front court, Larry White. Rangers are going to slow it down, but time right now is of the essence with 1.19 to play. Right wing, Eric Hansick with the ball. Gets it to Furlong. Backing down against Nigel. Goes around him. Up, missed the layup. Rebound tipped by Larry White. Saves it inbounds. And off of Burke putting him out of bounds. Larry, Larry White is everywhere. Great play by White. He's a very good player. I'll say it again. He's one of my favorite players in the conference, except for two games. <laughs> Well, and you said it right, too. 113 left, Northwestern down by eight. The the clock is their biggest enemy. If OBU can just melt a little bit. I thought OBU looked very uh, impatient on that last trip up the court. 73 seconds to play. Rangers find themselves in another tight game. 74-66, Vinay Patel's team trying to keep their heads above water at near the midway point of the league season. They would drop to four and five in the league with a loss today. And two more on the road coming up next week. White gets the inbounds, top of the circle. The Hansick foul line right to Furlong. Bava pivots, cross courts it for Larry White. He dribbles, attacks left, goes right at Sims and a blocking foul. Wow. It should be on the floor, not that it's going to matter because both teams are into the double bonus. And Quan has picked up his third. He's done a good job not picking up a lot of fouls after a couple of quick in the first half. 
Well, Jaquan Sims, he's so busy all the time, getting his hands on loose balls, punching balls out. So he's going to get a couple of those hustle fouls. Larry White knocks down the first free throw. That is his 18th point of the ball game. Second one is up, but it's good. He had been 0-4 at the line before those two makes. Six-point game, a minute to play. Brantley inbounds in the backcourt. Burke Putnam will bring it across midcourt. Now they cut him off, and he shoots it right side for Harrison Stoddard. Back to Burke. 52 seconds in county to play. OBU 74, Northwestern Oklahoma State 68. Putnam on a screen and a roll to Stoddard, and he misses the layup. It was challenged at the rim. Free, out and running. Gets it to Jones down the paint. Layup around and down and good. And a timeout for the Northwestern bench. Four-point game with 38 seconds to play as we're going to keep it right here. And, Scott, I wonder how many shots today around the rim OBU has missed. Well, part of it is the Rangers are really long. It's hard to shoot over Larry White above a furlong. But what a perfect back cut by Stoddard. Untarnished pass by Blake Putnam. And like you said, you, you miss that layup that Stoddard usually makes. Northwestern counters on the other side. That's why Northwestern's still alive down 74 70, 38 ticks left. Both teams shooting an identical 42.9%. OBU 27 of 63. The Rangers 24 of 56. Northwestern is 4 of 12 from 3. The Bison are 10 of 20. And Harrison Stoddard is 3 for 3. Brantley Thompson 1 for 8. Sims 2 for 3. Burke Putnam is 1 for 1 from 3. Bison basketball brought to you by one of Shawnee's newest dining establishments, the Theopolis Social Club, located at the heart of the Depot District. Outstanding live music on Theo's patio. They have an exciting menu there as well. Make Theopolis your destination before or after the game. Book online at theopolissc.com. Call 405-788-4404 to make reservations today. Rangers will, out of the timeout in the made basket, be able to set the full court press up now. As Thompson gets it to Stoddard, who jump passes across the floor to Putnam. Burke of a high the back dribble. Brings it to the offensive end. Now he's going to dribble around and get a foul from Larry White. That's his second. It's exactly what they were wanting. Burke Putnam to get it into the front court and then burn some time and draw the foul where he'll go to the line for two. Another high-level skill you won't see in the stat sheet that Burke Putnam has. Gets the ball on the right sideline, goes around the back. That's how he got out of that trap. First foul shot is good by Putnam. Burke at Valdosta State last year missed 10 free throws at over 100 attempts. Today he's missed three, and this will be his seventh attempt. He hits both. And at the most opportune time, 76-70. Rangers in hurry-up mode, Brian Free. Larry White puts up a desperation heave. It's an air ball, and it's out of bounds, and the Bison will have it. Are they saying that it was touched by an OBU player on the baseline? No, they are saying OBU basketball. I was going to say Calvin Prince has seen something. <laughs> Brantley Thompson inbound to Putnam, immediately a foul with 21 seconds to play. And Burke can make this a three-possession game when he goes to the foul line. Anthony Jones has his third. But A. Patel has still never beaten Oklahoma Baptist. They only played twice. Northwestern last year lost a lot of games, almost a month of the schedule because of COVID. No team in the last two years has been adversely affected as much as Northwestern was a year ago in the conference. Arkansas Tech this year would be pretty close. Foul shot by Putnam is good. One more for Burke. 77 to 70, and it's just about closing time here at the old arena. Second one good from Burke. He's hit four straight money free throws. 78-70, 15 seconds to play. Quick three oh. banked in by Brian Free at the top of the circle, and Bene Patel immediately spins the timeout. They're breathing but not without help. <laughs> and that prayer that Rick did off Brian Free straight on is cut it down to 5, 78, 73. The bank is open on Saturdays, but not this late on Saturday. No. Drive-through hours only. <laughs> well, they work for free. They won't be open Monday, I'll tell you that. It's a holiday. Yeah. Isn't it Martin Luther King Day on Monday? Yep. I think it is, yep. So you better get to your bank now. <laughs> Ryan Free did. Ryan Free did, you're right. 78-73, <laughs> 15.6 seconds to play. Wilcox, Thompson, Sims, Putnam, 
and Stoddart on the floor. Brantley to inbound, and Putnam is fouled before he even got a hold of the basketball. That's number four on Anthony Jones. That was a pretty good chokehold by Jones. Had the hook right around the neck of Burke Putnam. Next time we see OBU at home will be a week from this coming Thursday night. Washita will be in town. Incidentally, OBU has rescheduled the game for February the 7th with Arkansas Tech as Putnam hits the first. It'll be a 6 o'clock game, men's only, between the Wonder Boys and the Bison here in Shawnee. Rescheduled from last Saturday, Putnam's second is good. And the league's leading scorer adds to his total. 15 seconds to play. Brian Free heaves another one up. That one rattles off. Tip by Jones won't go. Furlong's tip won't go. Tips it to Jones. He throws it in. Northwestern out of timeouts, so they cannot stop the clock other than foul, and Jones has just committed his fifth. And Burke is going to go to the free throw line. Great job by OBU getting the ball to Burke Putnam. He's so clutch down here and these times with all these free throws. Every time got it in Putnam's hands. That's also a testament to Burke Putnam being a great receiver, getting open all the time. Just kind of strange how things work out with rescheduled games. OBU will host Arkansas Tech here on February the 7th as Burke hits the first free throw. That was scheduled for here last Saturday afternoon. And then three days later, OBU embarks on their final Arkansas road trip of the year. We'll play Arkansas Tech in Russellville on a Thursday. Second one is good, 82-75, three seconds, two seconds. Brian Free at the buzzer over Thompson who blocks the shot. Started the rebound at OBU with a hard-fought victory. Wins it by seven, 82 to 75. What a job the Rangers did coming into battle in the preseason conference favorite on their home floor. Final score, 82-75, Oklahoma Baptist. Our postgame show is next on Classic Hits, KGFF. Okay. Side of the Noble Complex will be hearing from acting head coach Josh Davis shortly. He and the team have made their way to the locker room following a seven-point win today over Northwestern Oklahoma State, 82-75. Welcome to the postgame show. Todd Miller, Scott Wattish, and Bob Easley. OBU wins it. They will head to Arkansas for the penultimate road trip to the natural state next week with no worse than a share of first to the conference as they move to 7-2 in the league and 10-5 overall. 
beating Northwestern 82-75. The final numbers, Rangers shoot 42%, 26 of 62, 5 of 16 from 3. OBU was 43%, 27 of 63, 10 of 20. That was a big difference in this ball game was the three ball, especially from Harrison Stoddard in the stretch of this game. OBU got to the foul line 27 times, made 18. In fact, both teams were 18 of 27 foul shooting for 67%. Rebounds, Northwestern plus 144-43. Second consecutive game, the Bison have been out rebounded on the glass. 13-13 on the offensive end. 10 turnovers for the Rangers, 10 for OBU. Points off turnovers, Northwestern 10 to 9. OBU had 16 assists on 27 made baskets, 6 assists on 26 made field goals today for Northwestern. Six steals for the Rangers and six for OBU. Bison had four block shots of the nation's leading uh, or the conference best block shot team in terms of uh, blocks coming in. Northwestern had eight. Harrison Stoddard had a huge game especially in the second half. 15 points, two rebounds and his three free, uh, three pointers, two of those had a lot of weight. Joins us here courtside. Man, it's good to see you back out there. I'm happy to be back, Todd. How about uh, taking the Clutch shots. I mean, it looked like somebody needed to step up. Harrison, you guys were, were you were certainly willing and obliging to do it. I mean, uh, I hit the first three, and then I got an and one, so my team kept coming at me. So right there, I usually don't do a little jab three, but I was feeling good. But my teammates trusted me, so. You look like to me, and we talked about this during the broadcast, you haven't missed a step. I mean, being gone for 10 games, what has it been like mentally and physically for you to come back now, this being your fourth game after being off for 10? I mean, when I was out, I was just encouraging my teammates. I mean, DJ is not a freshman on the court. He's a, he plays like a senior, man. He's a, he uh, stepped up big whenever I was out, and he, I'm going to keep encouraging him. And, uh, you know, it's just great to be back. Tell you what, it was a huge win, and it didn't come uh, without a fight. Those guys at the end of the floor, they're a really quality team, aren't they? Definitely. Way better than they have been in the past. This team has had a lot of adversity this year. You're battling it right now. I know that your thoughts are with Coach Aker yep. and his family, but uh, it's nice to galvanize around that and certainly uh, Josh Davis as well. I mean, uh, we've been praying for Coach Aker. Hope he's been doing well. And then Coach Davis has been on us these past couple of days just being together and staying together and not get into that one-on-one -on -one stuff or getting away from each other because Coach Aker is gone. But tonight, or yesterday, we uh, were talking to each other and saying that we need to play as one because at SNU, we kind of got out of it. Our culture stuff was out of it. So we worked on our culture today, yesterday. I thought, Harrison, you guys came out really, really focused with that 5 nothing run, and it really started on the defensive end. Yeah. Defense, uh we uh, had to hustle more on defense and rebound the ball. We got our rebound and back. You're one of the best guy. Appreciate you. We'll see you, you next Thank week. You, Harrison Stoddard visiting with us here at the Noble Complex. Oklahoma Baptist wins at 82-75 today over Northwestern. We will hear from acting head coach Josh Davis. That's coming up next. We'll have the final individual numbers as well. OBU wins it. The Mice are now 10-5, and 7-2 in league play. Northwestern falls to 4-5 and in the conference as they lose here today 82-75. More postgame coming up in a moment. This is OBU basketball and classic hits, KGFF. Okay. I'll save you the worst of that face.